Hey everyone, Rob Franick, Editor-in-Chief here at The Prince Review, and today we are bringing you yet another installment of our career series. The topic that we'll be tackling together today is what can you do with your social sciences degree? So friends, if you're considering a major in psychology, economics, anthropology, political science, sociology, geography, international relations, and that is just to name a few, then this video without question is for you. That said, before I get into the actual career fields that will be open to you with a social sciences degree, and spoiler alert, my friend, there are quite a few of them, let's actually start with some very simple definitions. What exactly does social science encompass? As you probably already know, social science is a wide-ranging umbrella term that encompasses a number of fields. The common theme is that each discipline aims to explore the connection between the human world and society, whether through an investigation, through the economy, human behavior, culture, social institution, or politics. And the skills that you'll cultivate as a social science major are even more wide-ranging than the fields themselves. But what are those skills that you ask? Well, first, you'll develop exceptional oral and written communication skills. Now, social science students are often tasked with analyzing text and data and research and then to persuasively communicate their perspective, uh, their interpretations. So, whether you go into social work or law or any other uh, career, strong communication skills without question will benefit you throughout your lifetime. Next, you'll develop strong research skills. Now, social science majors learn both the qualitative and the quantitative research methods. Students learn how to identify and uh, uh, reliable data, of course, and to evaluate and research a question using a variety of sources. Now, many majors may even conduct independent research as part of a senior thesis or a capstone project before you get out of college. Now, those research skills are essential if you're considering a career in fields like economics or politics or certainly public policy. Training in the social sciences will also sharpen your decision-making skills. Students will learn to define problems and collect data and, of course, to evaluate information to reach a conclusion. You'll hone, without question, your ability to identify patterns and question evidence, both of which are essential skills for leaders in any industry across the planet. Now that we've actually covered the skills that a social science education teaches undergraduates, let's dig into the actual jobs that students land upon graduation. Now friends, there are literally droves of fields available to social science majors. Uh, and we're, I could talk to you for hours and hours about listing all of those transferable skills that you will gain from a social science degree. So for the sake of brevity and time, let's just focus on a few, I think, pretty exciting career paths. Number one on our list is a political analyst. Friends, if you have an interest in politics, then a career as a political analyst might be a great fit for you. A political analyst questions evidence and investigates political systems and follows political trends to develop new policies and, of course, ideas. Much like you would as a student in this particular career, you'll spend your days collecting and analyzing data to make informed predictions about politics, the economy, and, of course, social changes. Number two on my list is an economist. Economists study, of course, how goods and services and resources are produced and distributed. They do so by conducting, again, surveys and analyzing the results using spreadsheets and databases and, of course, statistical analysis software. Now, often uh, economists will hold a graduate degree, so many of you may end up going back to study yet more social science if you opt to pr pr pursue a career as an economist. And let's not, or let's actually remember um, the communication skills that I mentioned earlier just up at the beginning of this video. They will play a huge role, a pivotal role in a job as an economist, as you'll need to present your findings and, of course, your forecasts in many different forms, from charts to tables to policies to journals and even in books. Third on my list is a geographer. Now, in the most basic sense, geographers research the earth and the culture's that inhabited. Using those deft 
research skills that you will gain as an undergraduate, uh, geographers will spend their, their time, their days collecting and analyzing geographic data and visually presenting their findings and presentations and of course written reports. Now, there are many specialties and of course subfields in geography, including human geography, political geography, and of course environmental ge geography, and that is just to name a few. Now, depending on your specialty, you'll use technologies such as GIS and of course GPS to help governments develop policies and laws and assist businesses with creating effective strategies and solutions. Next on my list, uh, this is an industrial organizational psychologist. Now, IO psychologists will study human behavior in the workplace. They often work in corporate environments seeking to solve workplace problems such as improving productivity or increasing morale. And as with most social science careers, research drives the decisions and of course the recommendations that IO psychologists will ultimately render. And some of the tasks that you'll oversee in this particular role you will include, of course, hiring and training employees, creating company policies, and planning the growth and development of a business. You'll use your degree to investigate a variety of topics, including workplace behavior, such as team effectiveness, uh, employee motivation, occupational stress, safety risks, and of course, general job performance. Friends, this is a fantastic field for those of you who want to use both your quantitative as well as your qualitative skills uh, as a social science student that you developed as an undergraduate. And you should also note that you'll likely need a master's degree or even a PhD to get fully into this field as your career progresses. Number five on my list is an urban planner. Um, this is another research focused career path. Urban planners will collect and of course analyze data using systems like GIS and statistical uh, software programs to determine a community's need. Now, in this career, you'll collaborate with land developers and of course public officials to make sure that community plans meet environmental regulations and zoning codes. Much of your focus will be on identifying and meeting the needs of a community by creating and updating facilities from schools to parks to residential and commercial property development. Sixth and final on my list, and this is so important, is a social worker. Friends, if you are interested in a meaningful, people-centered profession, then consider a career in social work. In this career, you will serve at-risk or underserved individuals, communities, or organizations by helping those in need um, access um, social services available to them. Now, based on your specialty, your day-to-day -day responsibilities will vary. You could work with clients coping with mental health challenges or behavioral disorders or addiction or terminal illness. You could also be serving families dealing with transitions or students struggling in school. Friends, the career paths for social workers are as diverse as they are, of course, rewarding. Keep in mind that you'll also likely need to attain a master's in social work degree as your career professors. You'll also be required to complete continuing education credits in order to renew your state social work license. So prepare, my friends, for a lifetime of learning as a social worker. And again, these are just a few of the many, many career paths available to social science majors. Friends, if you are right now, majoring in one of the social science, then leave us a comment and let us know what your aspirations are as you move forward. And as always, please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for the latest updates about colleges and test prep and study tips and a whole lot more. Rob Frannick, Editor-in-Chief here at the Prince Review, signing off for today. Be well.